The Biden administration says it is actively engaging with the Israeli army on what exactly happened during an airstrike on the Gaza city of Rafah on Sunday that killed dozens of people and injured roughly 250 more at a tent camp for displaced Palestinians. The Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry saying at least 45 people, including children, were killed in the strike. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu calling the killings a tragic mishap, telling Parliament on Monday that the military has opened an investigation into the deaths. In Rafa, we already evacuated about 1 million non-combatant residents. And despite our utmost effort not to harm non-combatants, something unfortunately went tragically wrong. We are investigating the incident and will reach conclusions because this is our policy. Israel has said the attack targeted a Hamas compound, killing two of the group's top senior officials. Hamas officials calling the strike a war crime, saying Israel is in defiance of the recent decision by the United Nations World Court, which called on Israel to stop its operations in Rafah. In a statement on Monday, a White House National Security Council spokesperson said the images coming from Rafah were heartbreaking. The spokesperson added that Israel does have a right to go after Hamas, but needs to make every precaution possible to protect civilians.